Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing good and staying safe. Today I will be sharing seafood lovers plate in which you will have fish recipe, prawn recipe and South Indian special, winter special, traditional recipe that also I will be sharing that is nothing but rasam. Rasam also I will be sharing with little bit of twist in it. Keep watching. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, do sure consider subscribing to my channel. Also hit the like button and share the video with family and friends. First let's check the weather. Here in Canada usually when winter start it will give a nice good snowfall in the month of November itself at the end. But this time nothing was as usual. Just little bit of light snow shower it uh, started in November and after that no snow at all and it was not cold also like how usually it will be. From last week only it started to snow and the weather is also very cold comparatively. Now the weather over here is approximately minus 15. You must know that it is very very cold. Whenever it snow everybody just simply relax at home and enjoy the snowfall. Nobody go out because the roads all will not be clear. It will take time uh, for clearing it up with the salt. But instantly if you go it is risky only. Driving in snow is little bit better with the winter tires. But if you have normal tires it is not at all recommended to drive at that point. Anyways though it's a risky ride still Driving in snow is also fun just like that of a roller coaster experience only it is. Go a little bit slow and steady even if you skid you have to manage that's it. Now let's move on to our lunch menu what I prepared it is perfectly South Indian special rasam recipe along with rice and uh, for seafood lovers the recipe is nice and spicy prawn masala and fish fry. I have taken half cup of tur dal, wash it, add water, turmeric powder and pressure cook it. First let's prepare rasam, for that I have taken dry red chillies, 1 teaspoon of pepper, zeera and uh, uh, instead of garlic I have taken garlic powder 1 teaspoon and curry leaves. Nicely grind it and keep in a pot take oil, I will be adding little bit of mustard seeds and add the ground powder. And then instantly add water, don't wait otherwise it will burn and add enough water how much ever you want. This is nothing but kokum instead of tamarind I have added kokum and one spoon of sambar powder I added that is store bought one only and one full tomato, big large tomato I ground and added in it and uh, add the salt also. Now the twist over here is I have added that tur dal. This is dal ka char we will say or it is sambar rasam. This is what it is called. Adjust the salt and nicely cook. I have added coriander leaves for nice aromatic flavor. Bring it to a boil and off the flames. That's it. Now let's move on to the other recipe. I have kept onions, tomatoes and all ready. These are the shrimps I bought from Costco. I told right 3 packs will be inside very comfortable to use. See these are wild caught and already cooked and peeled also. Very easy to use. Even the portions are very much controlled. You can see one full bowl in one packet and likewise it is cleaned and cooked. I have taken a wide large open pot in that oil I have taken for frying and add the onions. Onions you can see they are cut in lengthwise. So one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste and the masala I used is chili powder, turmeric powder, pepper powder, garam masala and salt. After frying it I added tomato puree. It was approximately one large tomato and nicely give it a good fry. Fry it until oil separates. After that we will add the shrimps which I washed and kept. They are already cooked. It is not going to take too long. Little bit of water it will release. Only until that water is evaporating you have to cook and garnish with 
coriander that's it and little bit of lemon also i added at the end these shrimp packets like right, they can be used for salads or for making pasta or many other south indian dishes are there like goan prawn curry or even in south indian uh, khatta salad right in that also i will be using many other recipes where i will use i will share then and there until then this recipe is perfect for rasam now we'll move on to the fish recipe here i have taken tilapia fish four fillets cut into small cubes very small pieces i have taken for another recipe now for these big pieces ginger garlic paste turmeric powder chili powder pepper powder and 1 teaspoon of chili chicken masala that is store bought one only i have added little bit of oil nicely give it a good mix and marinate it at least for half an hour or overnight marination is also okay i marinated it for half an hour and um, uh, why i added oil because i am going to air fry them air fryer makes my job very very easy at times that's how easy air fryer is from when i bought air fryer right most of the recipes has become very easy and comfortable to manage even in day time see the snow wind and these are from multiple days i have added the clips every day their experience is very different now rice is ready rasam is ready prawns is ready and fish is also inside the air fryer i have taken a cast iron in that always remember fish is much complemented with coconut oil i am frying this fish masala in coconut oil not masala just only the onions nice and thick pieces of onions only i have kept i have added only salt little bit of pepper powder and little bit of garam masala that's all don't need to brown them also little bit of translucent is okay enough this is a little bit kerala style of fish fry this fish now ready after uh, cooking it in the air fryer i will just layer this fish and on this i have added the coriander if you want you can also squeeze half a lemon on it nicely flip it upside down it is extremely flavorful all the flavors are coming from the coconut oil coconut oil is the key for this recipe very very tasty and very healthy too definitely give try this way making fish i am sure everybody in your house will love it any simple food also the way you serve it makes it much more special definitely try different ways every time the food will look interesting even though it is tastier or not the look and feel itself will make it much more tastier i was getting little late for lunch so no time to fry papad i just simply served with the chips it complements a lot to this kind of meal all are simple ingredients and very easy recipes i am sure all of you loved it and definitely give it a try and leave your valuable comments hope you all like this video if you like my videos do like share and subscribe to my channel live tasty be happy soon i'll be back with another awesome recipe or a vlog until then stay safe take care and goodbye